Hello and welcome to 55 Questions with the Scout Guy Huntsville. I'm Duania Wilkerson, owner of Pros and Pens and contributing editor for the Scout Guide. And today we are kicking off this series with the amazing Don Pompelli, owner and editor of the Scout Guide Huntsville. How are you today, Don? Hey, Duania, this is fun. I'm excited to be your first guinea pig for the 55 Questions series. Me too. Before we dive into these questions, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, let's see. Uh, you said it already. I'm the owner and editor of the Scout Guide Huntsville. Um, we are we have just launched our sixth volume, so I'm seven years into this role. Um, I love it. I love um, being able to contribute to our small business community by spotlighting local businesses and owners and makers and artists and um, my job, it's my hobby. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. So I'm excited to have you as the first guest and I'm excited about these questions. I already feel like I know you very well, but I feel like our relationship is going to be solidified after this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I am ready. Mumu's even ready. She's coming forward. <laughs> Okay, the first question, how many hours of sleep do you get every single night? Probably about six or seven. Um, I am definitely early to bed, early to rise, but um, being that I am of a certain age, I find that I wake up somewhere around 2.30 every morning and stay awake for a little while. <laughs> okay, so what's the first thing on your mind in the morning? Um... Probably, um, who's going to take the dog out? Not very deep. <laughs> when are you most creative, morning or night? Definitely morning. Um, and, and in particular in the shower. Oh, I think most of us have those shower epiphanies. Yeah. Okay. And what is your morning drink of choice? Um, usually coffee. So uh, David and I have a, a really good friend, um, couple friend in Atlanta who own a coffee business um, and they have a coffee wine, wine and coffee bar called um, Java Vino. But then they also um, roast beans that actually come from her family's coffee plantation in Nicaragua. So it's really kind of a cool story. And um, we are very lucky to have this premium coffee shipped us whenever we need it from Atlanta. Um, thanks to Stephen Hetty. Okay, I'm going to need to come by for a cup one day. Anytime. <laughs> okay. Describe your brand in three words. Oh, this is a hard one. Um, friendly, positive, optimistic. Love that. Okay. Vintage or new? New. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what three things make you happy? Uh, family, travel, and my dog. Okay. What is something from your bucket list? Um, you know, bucket list started out as being something that like something you have to do before you die. And um, I think a lot of people use the word bucket list for just like, this is something I'm going to do this year. So you're asking me which version of bucket list? Um, do before you die? I don't want to be morbid, but sure. <laughs> okay. I think it's probably something travel related. Hmm. Can we table that one? Can we go back or do I have to answer it? I guess I have to answer it. Yeah, you should answer it. Yeah, I should answer it. I mean, I think I'm really lucky that I do get to do a lot of the things that I dream about. Um, but I let's say that I want to go to Africa. Okay. Bucket list. And what is your favorite color? Um, it's actually blue and almost like lots of different colors of blue but this color of blue this turquoise blue no joke this color of blue is actually my favorite okay <laughs> it works for me i think it does <laughs> and what's your least favorite holiday 
this is going to be kind of revealing. Um, I don't love Thanksgiving. I don't, I, I don't love all the food for sort of only the reason of food. Does that make sense? I mean, I like food. I love to eat, but I don't know. I just feel like there should be something else. And it's between Christmas and Halloween, which I love. So it's almost like I could give Thanksgiving a, the heat. Okay. Okay. Um, what was your last vacation? Well, I just got home from Sonoma last night. (laughs) And I'm sure that was amazing. It was amazing. We are very lucky to have friends who have a house in Sonoma County. And so we went and stayed in their house. And not only did we stay in their house, but they were like the nicest hosts and, you know, showed us all around and cooked dinner for us. It was a fantastic short vacation. Okay, good. Okay. What is one of your biggest fears? Um, my son being hurt or sick. Okay. If I, if I, I obsess to... about anything, if I have anxiety about anything, it's usually something n- negative happening to him. About your son. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what is one of your greatest accomplishments? Well, actually, let's go back to him again. I think he's one of my greatest accomplishments. Not that I had a whole lot to do with it. I mean, I think he's a pretty great person. He's 18. He just started college. He's kind and creative. And um, I always said to myself, I didn't really care what he ended up doing. But as long as as he was kind, that would make me happy. And he is. But he's also intelligent and intuitive and creative. And um, he's you know, off pretty far away in art school. And um, I'm just proud of his independence and the kind of person he is. So what I think is really cool is that when I wrote that question on the list, I figured that would be your answer. Oh, yay. So we do know each other well. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What motivates you? Um, uh, Positive feedback. Okay. And when's the last time you had a good cry? Um, well, kind of cried with a friend this morning who's having a hard time. So, um, that's, that was probably, it was about an hour ago. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a crier. Um, (laughs) what's your go-to lunch? Um, I, I really like, um, like bowls, like, Fresco Grill or um, um, the other place that's name has changed. But I love going into a place and like sort of making your own, but having it be healthy. So that would probably be go to or cheese. If I'm at home, it's probably just cheese. Cheese is the entire lunch. (laughs) Yeah, maybe a cracker. (laughs) Okay, this is a juicy one. When was the last how many times have you had to fire someone? Mm, maybe three. Okay. Changing notes a little bit. If you could meet one celebrity, who would it be? Well, probably Bradley Cooper. He's a hot one. Yeah. I would actually like to meet the dirty version of Bradley Cooper. (laughs) (laughs) That seems so shallow, but that's the first name that popped to mind. That's the whole goal with this thing, right? <laughs> no, that's a great one. Okay. Yeah. What is the biggest lesson you learned from your mom? Um, uh, love. Uh, I, you know, I have always felt loved um, from my mom no matter what. And I think that's that's a huge part of who I am. Mm-hmm. Your mom is amazing, too. Thank you. How do you spend a lazy day? I have a hard time being lazy. Um, I know that sounds like really, I I just have a hard time sort of slowing down and stopping. Um, So I'm not a good, like sit around and watch movies or sit around and read books. So for me, a lazy day might be um, maybe like hanging out in the pool is probably a nice lazy day for me. Okay. And what is the best Hidden gem in Huntsville. Oh. I 
feel like that's a conflict of interest. I have a number of hidden gems here in this book that you can reference. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll tell you what, if you're having a down day, then the best hidden gem is tiramisu papery and Joan Sally because that that is like a snarky laugh at every turn and that can that's that's a fun that's a fun gem. Okay. What is your favorite way to stay active? Um, I do Pilates. I love Pilates um, with Sybil and Jenny at Pilates Center of Huntsville. And I've really enjoyed that. And other than that, just walking. I do like to ski in the winter, but, I, I, you know, that's more vacation thing. Okay. What do you like most about yourself? Uh, my positivity. Okay. And what's one flaw? Um, sometimes I feel like I'm, sometimes it's easier for me to stay on surface level with someone than to get down deep sometimes, depending on the situation. Why do you think that is? Is that a, is that 56 questions there? Did you just add one with the why? Because you're trying to get it to that with me. <laughs> well, it's still going to be 55 because I skipped one. So. Okay. Um, well, I just think uh, sometimes it's easier or faster to stay at a surface level. Mm -hmm. Okay. What advice do you have for young women professionals? Um, I would say it's, that's so interesting because I actually just spoke to a bunch of young women who are in college the other day. Um, and I think the advice I told them was two, uh, two pieces. One, just go do something, you know, don't get yourself so caught up in this is my, going to be my life's work, or this is what, um, you know, this is what define me, defines me. If you're not sure, just go do something and work really hard at it. One, people respect a hard worker. So even if you're not the best at it, they will respect you because you've tried and you've worked hard. And two, I have always learned something from everything I've done and then taken that and built on it. And I think that's sort of a, a great way to sort of get started as a young professional. Okay, I love that advice. What is your favorite song? Um, it's probably Karma Chameleon by country, uh, by a culture club. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what it means. I just still love it. When I hear it, it makes me happy. I don't either. And I love that song too. Oh, yay. Okay. What if I could sing, I would sing. Um, what song always gets you emotional? Um, probably... I don't really get emotional with music, but I really like, um, there's a Zach Brown song called Family Table that I really like. And I'm not even a big country girl, but it's sort of, it makes me think about my own family and just how important that is to be a unit. Okay. Who's your favorite singer? Can I go back to Boy George? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, Current, I really do like Zach Brown um, and Chris Stapleton, even though I'm not a country girl. Um, but yeah, the 80s things are still, I mean, I really like Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, it's a complicated thing because I love Michael Jackson. Okay. He's probably number one in my life. Okay. Who's the most stylish person, living or not? Stylish? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to, I guess I. I guess I'm just going to pick my friend Isa. She's stylish. She helps me with pointing me in the right direction. Isler Sheik, she's our uh, creative director for Scout Guide. And she just, you know, she'll look at me and say, puff those sleeves up. Petite people should have, like, show more skin. You know, just things like that that I think are pretty amazing that she's, um, that's just so natural to her. So okay. that's accessible style because she's here in Huntsville. Yes. Okay. Favorite novel. Jane Eyre. What's the last novel you read? Oh, golly. I have to check my audible on that one. Um, 
I can't, I can't remember the name of everything. Um, there's an author named Kevin Wilson who um, he's actually still writing and he actually lives in the town where um, I went to college in Suwannee, Tennessee. And um, there's a book that he wrote called Nothing to See Here. That's a recent-ish one. Okay. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I think it would be sort of like um, to like heal um, group interactions. I know that sounds sort of crazy, but like I'd love a superpower where I like walk into a room like Duane, you and I are both in a professional women's organization and sometimes there's strife. I'd love to have the superpower to be like, calm down. We're going to make this all work. We're all going to move forward together. I think that'd be a great superpower. It would. Much needed. <laughs> <laughs> if your life were being made into a movie, who would play you? Well, I have been told before that I look like Cameron Diaz. I don't see it, but I've heard that. And she's sort of clumsy and a little bit goofy. Um, so let's pick her. Um, and she, uh, I mean, body goals. I'll just all of a sudden be <laughs> M.E.D. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite time of day? Um, in the morning. Okay. Favorite country to visit? Italy. Last country to visit? Japan. Country you really want to visit? Portugal. Okay. Do you have to speak any other languages? No. I'd I mean, I, I have taken Spanish and I can understand some Spanish, but I'm really not good at it. I do relate that to, you said a little while ago that you didn't sing. I can't sing. I'm tone deaf. And I just sort of wonder if like hearing languages and hearing music are similar shortcomings that I have. <laughs> okay. What's the biggest surprise you've had in your career? Biggest surprise I've had in my career? I think maybe um, pr probably just how things have developed with the Scout Guide. You know, the fact that we've been able to do many more things with the Scout Guide Huntsville than sort of the traditional Scout Guides are doing in other cities. The fact that we have video series like this, or I have, you know, segments with Tennessee Valley Living on um, WAFF, or the fact that we have this, tr you know, travel experience that we're offering to the community. I, I, I did not intend or anticipate that, um, that those things would come to pass. And I'm glad that they did. What's the biggest surprise you've had this year? Um, okay, so we acquired the Scout Guide Greenville this year, and I love Greenville. Um, and it's, I mean, just the fact that we did that is actually a kind of surprise because I didn't really plan on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I think of Greenville as being a lot like Huntsville, but there have been some business surprises and all of that, you know, just sort of some adjustments or things that I thought would go a certain way because they went a certain way in Huntsville. And I'm just having to sort of learn that. So maybe that kind of comes from the fact that I should not have, I probably should have anticipated some of those things, but they have been a surprise. So they live and learn. Yeah. What um, is your most prized possession? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't care about things as much as I do about experiences. So it's funny when you say that. I would, I mean, I love my wedding rings. Um, I love my dog, if you can assume a dog as a possession. I actually really like my Audi. <laughs> I've never really liked cars that much. Um, uh, but when I really think about it, probably my my possessions that I, they, they mean less to me than, than getting to go or do something or experience it, something new. Okay. If you had to choose a new occupation today, what would it be? Retirement. <laughs> I really, seriously, I said in the beginning, my job is my hobby. So if I didn't do this, I'm not sure what I would do. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, this is a very important one. 
room temperature or ice cold water? <laughs> uh, for me, room temperature. You? Um, definitely room temperature. Yeah. <laughs> I think I knew that about you too. <laughs> Window seat or aisle seat? Uh, aisle. What's your current TV obsession? Um, the morning show. Okay. What dish do you cook best? Uh, I don't feel like I'm a great cook. Um, I, I don't know. My son loves chicken bacon ranch pasta. I'll say okay. that. There it is. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite app? On my phone, Marco Polo. Okay. Are you good at keeping secrets? Yes. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? Um, it's got to be something travel related, right? Um, I guess probably going to Japan. Okay. What's inspiring you right now? Um, you. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Your face just told a million stories. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Um, well, I think the most relevant one to me is uh, when I was planning on starting the Scout Guide six, seven years ago, I talked to a guy named Dennis Madston, who works for the city of Huntsville. And, and uh, I think he, his title now is he's the city planner. Um, but he, when I was trying to decide whether or not to bring, uh, to buy the scout guide, he said, um, Dawn, Huntsville is the kind of place that if you have a good idea and you're willing to work hard for it, people will get behind you. And I think that that was really good advice, really relevant and has proven to be true for me. And I've shared it with other people too, who are, you know, st maybe starting on an entrepreneurial journey. Okay. Now, what is the worst advice you've given? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't give bad advice to Anya. <laughs> I don't know. Do people listen to me? <laughs> well, yes, people. We, the people, do listen to you. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't have an answer. You don't give bad advice. Okay. Uh, um, we are almost there. What can we all expect from the Scout Guide this year? Uh, well... I think you can expect that um, we're going to try to um, focus more on our on our members. So the businesses who are in the guide, we're actually really focused on trying to improve communication and customer service to those businesses, um, which you know doesn't mean much to the public, but I think you know, helping arm them with maybe a little bit more information um, and that might help them in some ways be more successful or just, you know, a little bit more transparency about how we do what we do. I think you can expect that. And hopefully you can also expect to start seeing um, us put together the next guide very, very quickly. I think our goal is to have more seasons represented in our photography and so um, maybe even start seeing photo shoots as early as november okay i like that yeah okay our last question how would you like to be remembered um i've used this word enough kind supportive positive, um, engaging, and um, uh, helpful. Okay. Well, I think you, you are there. You're all of those things. And Thanks, then, friend. Yeah. 
Okay, well, that concludes our 55 questions with the Scout Guy Huntsville. I hope you all have enjoyed this segment and stay tuned for the next one. Yay. Thanks, Duaney. I can't wait to see you do next.